crazy Uncle JoJo on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my content. Alright, that's it and done. We're going to finish off on some Red Bay Addiction 2. And with that said and done, here we go. Hi there, Arthur. Probably just needs to sleep it off. Well, he looks like he's been up for days. How's it going? Probably. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then, Arthur. So, we found the old Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of home. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that Karen? He's all right now. Isn't it good to be out of that goddamn snow? Why are you so chipper? We're gonna be good. We are gonna be great. Faith, my son. Faith. You have to walk away. Keep talking. In at least six months since you killed anyone with your cooking. <laughs> You think it's off? No copyright strike. I know. I... Get away from it. Move. I have no idea why this music is still on. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, but for me, at least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lattahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living environment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also scared. And in this game, you've got to have luck and skills. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. I'm nice. Hey, I got this. <clears throat> oh, there's your pinky. You don't even have your brains, no, you don't have to meet you. I need that ring finger. Let me know you're not. You're ugly. You're gonna get married. Here goes. They just turned that damn music up louder, didn't they? Put it behind us. Alright. Arthur. If you're bored, there's always work to be done. I ain't bored. Hey, sir, Arthur. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What do they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm getting on. Yep, alright, man. See ya. Hi. Here. 
Anderson. Now, one that sounds sincere. Yes, hello, Arthur. Take it easy, I serious. Oh, please, go and know someone else. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Goodbye. All right, let's go back to Matthew Lewis. Where that is. <laughs> that may come in handy. Hey there, partner. Get out. Make me half boy, I'm lazy. Turn off, just stand there. Need your money, tough guy. Don't try nothing dumb. Oh, I'm ready to beat on your skull. Ah! 
should have listened the first time. Out of here for somebody sees us. Or sees me. I know you need shoes, no horse. Told out to find that chick Matthews up there. Chick Matthews? Mm, not one of us talk to that fella over there. Now nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Come on. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh that's the green horn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. But it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. There ain't no goddamn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Well, been a pleasure. Yeah.
What is this? Hold on. Go to the map. What we got here? The horse ain't gonna calm down when I'm on. Where's our money? What? 
How long you talk? It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn mother. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, mighty punch there, buddy. You got blockers? Block that one. This and that. I don't like to be hit. Oh, not be the bully no more. What you got? No, 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 I wanted to walk the fence line. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do understand very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is James. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Perspective. New partner. If he likes to like it, ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said, keep your voices out. I don't want my boss to hear it. This is the sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day's long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this guy? What you talking about? Good day, Jose. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. No, man. 
You're not old, Seamus. I'm old and buff, and you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? But it was just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farm house just northwest of here called Carmen de Death. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's oh, your business, not mine. That's for business. business. Right? Don't tell we ain't intimate no more, and you'll know it was me. That's a restricted area. Dropping, you cuss. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. You ladies first. Hey. Come on. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. The other way. Down the road. From Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Well, let's go get this stage coast. Can't be that hard, right? daughter a couple of times. Uh, I used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Jose. Move, Jose.
There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Sage coach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Show will you sneak into the house, find what you can, and get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it in that. We need dark. Let's wait. We'll be fine to see us. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll How do I go in? You go in. I'll get the horse. Anyways, here we go. You peek through the windows before you go in. Peek through the window? Oh, I don't know. Keep the time. Ooh, the car bag. Okay, well, let me have the car bag. Never mind. Uh, we gotta stay in the house.
Get on, dear boy. I sleep like a baby. Get out of here. Yep. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Yes, we. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to shame as one piece. into the barn there. Open the door! Come in! Hello, Seamus. We met cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park the thing in here. Yeah, look in there. Sweet. Anyway, uh, nice work, Jose. Mostly art. Like I said, of course, so competent here. Thank you. <clears throat> Find any other coach that needs help. I'll see what I can offer you for. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to the camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Why not? Let's go talk to the fat one. Six inches or more 
Run the oil from my auger. I've got your music turned off. I have no reason why. I have no idea why he's still singing. You looked up and smiled, said bear down on your auger, for I know you struck oil. Things went on for a week and days. My auger was short. Hey, what Ah, it's on. Let me sleep, damn it. What's going on, Arthur? You were snoring, that's all. Oh, I need to sleep. I'll let him sleep. Arthur? Take it easy, I'm just feeling you. Dang it, Arthur. I need to sleep. There's a fat one. There's a monster. Not you, Dan. Yep. Wrong one. Nervy little fella, ain't you? When you be? Don't cross us. You'll be fine. All right, man. Hey, so that fella who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yes, see you later. Business in the hotel. Oh, yeah. So we can hit that bank I told you about. Let's see. You recovered, Dan. Yes, sir. Thank you. It won't happen again. Yes, it will. All right, well, I should be getting on. Certainly. I think we're going to be okay in the end. I hope so. Made it this far. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. Come have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> there he is. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just take any edge off. Say something for the rest of us. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Hey, Lenny. How does it feel losing to a young whippersnapper like me? You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Keep back. All right, Arthur.
music is turned off. I know I don't want to stop singing. Two in the morning. Game time. See if we can go to the post office and pay off the debt. Bounty. Thanks for watching Crazy Uncle Jojo on YouTube. Like, 
comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.